Hey guys, Tim Wilson UK here and welcome back to some more of the Golf Club. If you're new to the channel, welcome along. And that is if you're watching on YouTube, which you probably are because I've just started uh, streaming on Twitch so nobody's jumped on as yet. We are in to the second round of the Scottsdale Desert Classic at the Vanis Vansittart Resort. Um, if you haven't watched round number one, or if you haven't watched the previous video to this, which is round number one of this tournament, I shot a very, very poor four under par, which put me right down near the bottom of the leaderboard. The leaderboard has updated today to include the round two scores, which means at the moment, as I have not yet posted round number two, I am sitting right at the bottom. So, um... It's time for me to get round number two underway, and fingers crossed, I can post a better round than I did in round number one. I am, I've got, I'm going to set no expectations for this round. I just want to shoot what I want to shoot. It would be good to get back up into the middle of the leaderboard. I sort of got an idea in my head what that will take. I seriously doubt I'll be able to do it. I'm not setting my sights too high for this tournament purely because of the fact that I struggled in round one. I know how tough this course is, so I'm just going to play and whatever will be, will be. So let's uh, let's get into this. 204 yards plus 8, 212 with some wind blowing in there. We're not going to be able to stop that on that tiny little bit of green, I don't think. Didn't quite catch it all. That was 97%. It is going to roll up a little. That's okay. Let's see if we can get this nice and close. I may have even got that on the green if I'd have hit it properly. Wow, that rolled past quite a lot. And that pitched right near the flag. That's more like it, a birdie on the first hole. I didn't get a birdie here yesterday. So that's uh, that's pretty good. Par 3 second, 156 yards. 8 mile an hour wind blowing from the left slightly behind. Not an awful lot. It's about one... It is about 154. So let's take some off of this. still going to be long I think and it's not going to stop is it it's going to stop in the fringe I think it's just rolled into the rough well, it's not the rough it's the fairway if I take a putter I'm pretty sure that's going to be downhill yeah I'm not going to even attempt to putt that because it could end up a mile past the hole That'll do. That should give me the par. Nice. Not a drop shot, so that's pretty good. Excuse me if you hear me drinking my tea. I have my normal cup of tea that I normally have when I'm playing around the golf on the golf club. And Jerry Lee is also at one under par, so matching each other at the moment. He had a fairly good round number one in comparison to mine. I think he shot about seven or eight under par, something like that. 421 yards, not a long par four here. That's nicely in the middle of the fairway. So if I can keep putting it in the middle of the fairway and try and get it as close as I can on the approach shot. With the wind, it's always difficult. We've got 146 plus 4 is 150 yards on the nose into the wind. Got 100% of that. Let's hope we can get a little bit of a roll because it's probably going to be a little short. And that looks like it's probably going to be below the hole as well. It is below the hole. Put that just over to the right a little. I 
it should start to turn. Oh, almost got a 25 footer there. All right, we're in for par on three. Let's move on to number four. Jerry Lee has just pulled ahead on two under. This is the short par four, 353 yards playing today. Wind blowing from the left. Nice 100% drive. It is downhill, so this should be around about 300 yards. To 85. Got 68 plus 4, 72 yards. Pitching wedge. Let's take some off for of this, because it is slightly into the wind. Mind you, when I played a pitch on the first round, it didn't stop at all. That one stopped a little. And that's good. That's where I want to try and get the approach shots. He's gone to three under par, so there is there is opportunity to score another really short par four, 308 yards. Let's try and open this up a little bit. Um, I'm going to try and come in from an angle here. Is it going to spin back? It is a little. Is that going to be enough for me to pick up a birdie? Five feet. Yes. He's gone to four under, so he's having a blinding round. Is this a par four? It is a par four, and it's a long one. 477 yards. Let's put it on the edge of this bunker. Try and take some more off of this. That's a good drive. That's a really good drive. Wind behind. That's going to be about 295, 300. It's still going. 308. 308 yards. So you've got 159 into this green. Got a lot of green to play with here. 159, 156, 154. I'm going to try and take this in even shorter. And roll it up to the flag. Let's see if this is... It's not straight. It's going to be about pin high, I would have thought. It's not far off being pin high, but that is not straight at all. Is there any movement on this though? It looks like there's a bit. 16 feet. Oh, just missed the edge. So I'm going to stay at three under par. We have a par three pin right in the back. 152, 149, 148. I think I hit that fairly straight. Is it going to have the legs to get there? It is. It's going to roll a little bit. That could be pretty good that's going to be about two feet three feet little downhill that should be a birdie that's going to take me to four under so i've equaled my first round score already through seven holes jerry lee's picked up another one he's gone to five under and we have a fairly long not a fairly long a very long par five with a headwind 571 yards 98 percent which isn't ideal but 
I don't think with a headwind we're going to be getting there in two anyway, because I'm not going to be able to hit my second shot 300 yards. Which it pretty much is. Uh, let's be going this way. I want to try and hit a nice flat area. stop. I think that's about as flat as I'm going to get it. It may, ball is slightly, ever so slightly above my feet. I was going to say that should have stopped really quickly. I was, took quite a lot off of that. And that's another birdie. So five under par, going along pretty well at the moment. All right, let's see what we can do on this. This is that really, really strange par three. It's 219, 216 plus six, 222, with the wind behind pin right in the back. So we can try and run this up to the hole. It's going to get there, no doubt. It's going to be long, I think. I could have taken a four iron there. <laughs> Standing behind the hedge. Uh, I've got 11 yards here. Got a fair amount of rough, so I need to try and be careful here. It doesn't roll too far past. Oh, that's how to do it. That's how to finish the front nine. Six under par. Nice. Good front nine. Let's have a quick look at the comment. I did see one pop in there, so I'm going to have a quick look. I hope you have a better round today. Good luck. Thanks, Johan. Uh, it seems to be better already. I'm hoping I can maintain. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. The wind's caught that, but it's going to the right side of the fairway. Mind you, we've got to bounce to the left, so that's brought it back into the middle of the fairway. I probably should have aimed a little further right there, because now I'm playing over the rough. Would have been better to have been coming in from the far right-hand side of the fairway to give me a, an angle on the green. Ball's slightly above my feet. We've got 184 plus 4. We've got 188 yards. However, I'm going to leave it where it is because I want to try and keep this on the green. I need the wind to start blowing that, otherwise this is going to be in bother. It's not going to slow down, I don't think. I don't even think it's going to hold the green. Wow, these greens are so, so hard. Not hard as in difficult, hard as in they are rock hard. And this is a difficult chip shot here because, or flop shot, because there is so much slope there. I must make sure I get it onto the upper level. That'll do. Little spin. Yeah, that'll do. Any shorter than that, I think I would have been in trouble there. I'm happy with a par on that hole. That is a that's a tough hole that one. Par five, four hundred and five hundred and oh it says five three seven at the top, but it is actually f just four eighty eight. Um I think I can get over there. Let's damn well try. Let's take as much of this as we can further on 
Right, that's going to leave me a fairly short shot into this green as par fives go, but the pin is right in the front, so it's almost impossible to get it close. 207, 204, plus 4, 208, 195. I'm even going to take a little bit more out of this. The wind's not blowing that back at all. It's going to come up short, but it's okay. That's okay. 10 yards. Ooh, that was so close to being an eagle. But I'll take a birdie. Seven under. We're tracking about the same at the moment, myself and Jerry Lee. So going along nicely at the moment. Can't grumble with this round at all. That is very much downhill, so I need to be a little careful here. I don't run out of fairway. Taken on a little bit of that right edge, but I think I'm going to be okay. Yep, yeah, it's going to be okay. Got a kick forward off of the rough. It's going to be about 100, and, I was going to say 150, but it's 137. It's about 140, so I'm going to take a little bit off of an 8 iron, see if I can get this to slow right down. I just need to make sure I get it on the green. It is going to hit the fringe, which is going to kick it forward a bit, which in all honestly, honesty, it probably helped. Oh, no. I knew I'd under hit it as soon as I hit it. I did that so many times on the first round. Okay, hole number 13. Alright, so I've got 97% there, and I'm probably going to say... I'm thankful for that, because 100% probably would have been in bother there. So, um, yeah, pleased about that. 60, we've got about 67 yards here. I know that's 66. I'm going to take a little more off of this. And I'm going to allow for a little bit of wind here. Come on, be good. That's going to come up short. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Probably that little bit extra that I took off made all the difference, but we still pick up a birdie. Gone to eight under par. Tracking nicely with Jerry Lee at the moment. He is actually a hole ahead of me. But we now come on to a par three, which is always difficult to score on. 156, 151... How much green have we got to play with? Not an awful lot. That's going to come up short. Is it going to roll onto the front? No, that's okay. I'm, oh, you know what? I'm not that annoyed about that. Don't want to play a chip shot there because it's rolling downhill. It'd be nice if we could get this in the hole. How much spin have we put on this? Let's put a little bit more. Oh, almost a slam dunk there. That's a par. Ah, oh, I don't think I've, I don't think I've birdied a par three yet on this course. Three. 
Ah, I did. I birdied the seventh. And I birdied the ninth. So, yeah. All right, let's go. What do we got here? Par 4, 4.35, so not too long. It's giving me a 3-wood. We don't want a 3-wood. We want Z-Driver. Where are we going to place this? I think we need to be on the left-hand side of the fairway. Wind's going to blow that back in a little, but I want to give myself a good angle on this flag. Yeah, that's a good angle. Got a lot of green to play with here. 168, 165, 170 yards. Should roll all the way to the flag. And then some. Man, it's so difficult to slow these balls down. Five yards this time. Oh! That's a par. All right, where's Jerry Lee at? Nine under. He's gone to nine under. What do we got here? Another par three. 169. Man, he owns these par threes. 169. 166, 167. I took quite a lot off of that. Is it? Is, is this the, the limit where it checks up? See, that's the difference between it rolling on and checking up. I took too much off of that and it checked. And that's going to leave me a long putt in the other direction. But I'm on the green, which is a bonus. 28 feet. That's okay, that's a couple of feet from the hole. Two holes to play. Wow, this round has absolutely flown by. What do we got in here? Par 4. 480 off the tee. Downhill, wind behind. Got to be around about 300 yards. There we go, 315 yards. Took a huge chunk out of that hole. 152, pin right in the front again. 152, 149, 148. Slow down. I even tried coming up really short there just to try and take some momentum out of the ball and it just rolled. I mean, look at that. It's rolled 37 feet across this green. And it's massively uphill. That's why it rolled a long way. And that was a good attempt from that distance, and especially with left and right movement. So I am not too displeased with that. That par is a bonus. And he finished at 9 under par. So well done to you, my friend. We have the long, long par 5 here now. 612 yards. So this is all about hitting the green in 3. And that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. Not a lot of wind to give assistance, but it'd be good if we can keep this in the fairway, which we have. 
almost 300 yards. Going to get another 250 odd yards here. I am going to take this on because the wind isn't going to give me too much of a headache here. I've hit it 100, so we should, should, should. Ooh, that was so close. We're over though, so that's going to give me a really short pitch into this green. I really need to capitalise here. I know that's 66. I want to take it in a little shallower than that. 65. Where? What have we got? What have we got? Is it downhill? It is downhill, so it's going to run a little bit more. Let's see what happens here. It would be nice if I could get one nice and close to finish the round. Oh! That would have been even better. That would have taken me to 10 under. Wow, that only just missed the hole. Oh! Didn't think that was going to drop. Nine under par. I had to. I have to say, guys, in the back of my head, I was hoping to hit a 10 under par, which would have given me 14 under par through two rounds, which would have put me up in the top 20 again, which is where I, I always like to try and be. Top 20, top, tw top 10 is always a bonus. So nine under par is pushing me in the right direction. I'm not sure. Let's have a quick look. Um... That's a 62, so I think the best round I'd seen for second round so far was 61, so I'm only one shot off that. So I've got to be honest, I am pleased with that round, very pleased with that round. It's also put me on the, f the front page or the first page globally, so very pleased with that round. Uh, I hope for those of you that have been watching live on Twitch, you've enjoyed this. If you've been watching on YouTube and you have enjoyed it, hit that like button for me. Feel free to leave any comments in the box below and if you've yet to subscribe to the channel and you're new to the channel, once again, welcome along. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to see more videos like this one, then hit the button in the bottom right hand corner. But until next time, guys, round number three will be coming up shortly. Hopefully we can repeat what we've done in round number two. But until then, take care. Bye bye now.